Hello guys and welcome to installing and running WordPress by WA Courses. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and run web WordPress on any web hosting account. Okay, so we're going to be using the hosting account from the previous video to install WordPress. So let's get started. So I'm currently logged into my cPanel from the previous video and there are basically two ways you can install WordPress. So you can either use uh, Softaculous, which is an inbuilt add-on to um, cPanel. So some hosting companies will include Softaculous, while some might not include Softaculous. Okay, but all major hosting companies these days include the Softaculous app installer. So I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress using Softaculous app installer. And I'm going to show you how you can also do it manually later on. Okay, so this is a little bit more technical and this just helps you get everything set up faster. So click on Softaculous app installer at the top here, or you could scroll down and you're going to see Softaculous over there. And the first um, icon here is um, always WordPress. And you can also locate that by going over to blogs and clicking on WordPress. So they take it to the exact same place. So this just gives you a dashboard of WordPress. So what Softaculous helps you do is it helps you to install WordPress on any domain name and helps you to manage WordPress itself. Okay, so you can do things like change password, uh, reset WordPress, delete WordPress and all that using Softaculous. So to add WordPress to a domain name, you click on install now. Okay, so when you click on install now, it's just going to give you like a form, a simple form you could fill to uh, get everything set up. So you can choose the WordPress version. So that's the first thing here. You can choose the WordPress version you want. So it supports from 4.9 up to 5.6, which is the latest version. And over here, you have to choose an installation URL. So we have two basic um, uh, protocols. We have HTTPS and we have HTTP. So make sure you have HTTPS selected if you have an SSL certificate. So this is the um, domain name that we purchased for the course, but I'm going to be installing WordPress on a subdomain called wordpresssite.wacourses.co.uk. Okay, so if you want to install WordPress on the cert on the domain name itself, you could do that by leaving this um, blank. So this is like a directory. So if I type in blog over here, if I type in blog, it's going to install WordPress in slash blog Okay. Well, if I leave this blank, it's just going to install WordPress on the main domain, subdomain itself. Okay, so that's something you should know. If you want to install WordPress on the subdirectory, you can add the subdirectory name here, and it's going to do that. The next step, you have to add in the site name. So I'm just going to type in WA Courses. Okay, and I'm going to copy and paste this in site description. Then over here, it's going to ask you if you want to enable multi-site. Just leave this unchecked. So uh, there's something called WordPress multi-site, which allows you to control more than one WordPress website using just one dashboard. But we're not going to go into that for this um, course. That's more of an add-on knowledge. Okay. Then we also have admin account. So this is basically the account you're going to be logging in with. Okay. So when you, once you create this uh, website, this WordPress install WordPress on this domain name. This is the user account you're going to use to log in. So by default, the username is admin, but you can change this to something else. And by default, it gives you a password. So we're just going to change this password to something like WA Courses 2090. Um, and I'm going to add a symbol here. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. So we can simply paste it in later. Then over here, you have to add in an admin email. So, but automatically it just adds admin at your website name, but you can change this to Gmail or whatever you want. Then over here, you have to select the site language. So by default, it's left as English. Then over here, you just have add on domain, add on plugins. So add on plugins, these are plugins that are just, uh, these are just basic plugins that a lot of people normally use when they are creating WordPress website. So you can add these if you want. I'm just going to um, uncheck that. So we don't really need any of that. If you click on advanced options, you get options to work with your database name, database prefix and some extra stuff here. But 
you don't really need to do any of that the software clause is going to take care of everything there and over here you can select a theme so you can select a default theme if you want but if you don't select any of this theme you're just going to load wordpress with the default theme that comes with the version okay so in our case it's going to be what uh it's going to be 2021 okay so that was going to be the theme there then over here you can add in an email address if you want to get the installation details so i'm just going to click on install now and you wait for a while and this starts installing on your domain so it just takes about three to four minutes uh so we just have to wait for that all right so as you can see this has successfully been installed and if you click on this url here it's just going to take you to the website directly so let's see how it looks on the website okay so as you can see we have successfully installed wordpress on this domain name okay so if i click on the wawp admin url here it's just going to take us directly to the dashboard so we don't really need to even log in it's just going to take us to the dashboard the back end of our website so i'm just going to wait for this to load so we can be sure everything went fine okay so this is how wordpress looks like once you install it in the domain name so if you notice we assess this using wp admin so this is how you assess your uh, wordpress website so in the coming videos i'm just going to touch on this also so now I'm going to show you how you can also install WordPress manually in case you don't have Softaculous. Okay, so this is um, going to work for any server that allows WordPress installation. So first thing we do, we go to wordpress.org slash download and we download the WordPress file. So I already have this downloaded. I'm just going to skip that step. So we just download this. It's going to come in a zip file. So it's going to be in a zip file. So you go back to your C panel. So I'm just going to go back to my C panel and let's see. Okay. So the first step is you need to create a database. Okay. So that might sound hard, but it's actually very, very easy. So you go over to your C panel and you locate this databases um, uh, tab here then under that you click on my sql database not php my admin you use php my admin if you're trying to install wordpress on a local server per se but on live server you're always going to get the cpanel access so you can just install using my sql database which is a bit streamlined okay so we'll go over there and the first thing you see is create a new database so we're just going to call this wa okay wa courses that's what we're going to call this and let's see okay so just click on create database and it's going to create this database for you so we've successfully created the database and as you can see it's very easy you just type in the name here and it's going to create a database so this is the database we just created and this database here is the one we created uh the one software created for us when we're creating this okay so uh to make this less confusing i'll just go back first and i'm going to delete this installation of wordpress that we have here okay so it's going to be completely new so we'll go over to wordpress on the software and i'm just going to find the installation so like i mentioned software allows you to do things like delete and edit your wordpress installation so i'm just going to click on delete here so if you click on remove this x button it's going to remove uh wordpress so you can do things like remove the database user and everything so i want everything removed so it's just going to look fresh and we're going to install this manually okay so this is done we'll go back to the control panel and i'm going to go back to my sql database to create a user now okay so now as you can see we only have one database so we need to create a user i'm just going to call the user uh, wa courses also so we just have one name and for the password i'm going to make the password the same as that of the website okay so this isn't advisable this is just because we're doing a tutorial so you can click on password generator and it's going to give you a very strong password also so we click on create user and it's going to create the user for us i'm not going to save this we'll go back and we'll scroll down 
and next thing we need to do is we need to add the user to the database so you select the user you created and this is the database that we created so you first thing you do is you create a database then you create a user then you add the user to the database so that's the last step here so you click on add and it's going to take this user and add it to the database you have to make sure that you have all privileges selected so you have um, alter create create temporary tables delete and every single permission you can think of so just make sure you click all privileges then you scroll down and click on make changes so once you do this uh, we've successfully um, configured this database and it's ready to be used for wordpress installation okay so we'll go back to our um, cpanel home and we're going to locate file manager so on the files you have file manager and you're going to click on file manager so you can do this using two different methods you could either use ftp if you want but i always use file manager because this is very very simple and it doesn't really require you setting up an ftp account so click on file manager and it's going to open this in a new tab and what we're going to do is inside the file manager we're going to locate the subdomain folder okay so this is the subdomain folder wordpress site.wacourses.co.uk and inside here this is where we're going to be doing uh configuration and adding wordpress okay so if you want to install wordpress on your main domain you go to public underscore html so if you want to install wordpress on wacourses.co.uk which is the main domain would have gone to wacourses.co.uk but we're going to install wordpress for a subdomain so I'm going to double tap this and I'm going to get rid of CGI bin. So you don't really need this. This is just a default folder being generated by your host. And next thing we're going to do is click on upload. OK, so we need to upload the WordPress um, zip file that we got from this website here. OK, so you just click on select file and you add that in. So this is the file. I'm just going to select it and click on open so it's going to um, start uploading the file to our host so just wait a bit and file manager is going to get this uploaded okay so now as you can see it's completed so we have to go back to the directory and click on reload okay so um, now we just need to unzip wordpress over here so i'm just going to click on extract and we're going to extract the wordpress files okay so next up go over to the folder and we'll select everything here and we'll move it up to the main um sub fo domain folder okay so we'll go back here and now you can get rid of this um folder name so once you have this um we can now set up wordpress so it's very easy to set up wordpress from here just go to the address from your browser directly and it's going to take you to the setup wizard so select english click on continue and now we need to add things like database name database username database password and database host okay so click on let's go and it's going to take you to where you can add that so if you remember our database um name was so let's just grab that from here okay so our database name was this so we'll copy this and paste it here and we used the same username okay so i'm just going to use the same username and for the password i'm just going to copy it from here and paste it in here okay so this password is for our database not for our site so once you have these three things configured you can leave your database host as localhost to going to work and you click on submit so once that's done it's going to give you the success message and click run the installation to install wordpress completely so this is just going to give you like the same kind of um, form that you were presented when you were using um, softaculous so softaculous just makes this easier so just type in let's say wa courses also 
and for username you can type in admin if you want for password i'm just going to use the same password that we used and for email you can add any email here and that's basically it for setting up wordpress here just click on install wordpress and it's going to install wordpress okay so i'm going to click on login and now we have wordpress successfully installed using the manual method okay so if i go over to the main site we get the exact same thing so this is just another method of using of installing wordpress if you want but i would advise you use softaculous because softaculous is what everybody uses these days so if i go over to softaculous installer and i click on wordpress you're going to notice we don't have any um, wordpress site here but if i click on import so if you click on this import here import button it's going to and click on auto detect all installations and click on start scanning it's going to scan your wordpress website and find any installation so it's still exactly the same thing okay so if i come here now as you can see we get the same wordpress website so it's the same thing and i advise you to use softaculous whenever you're installing wordpress but if you don't have softaculous or you don't have access to softaculous in the server you can just install wordpress using this other method okay so that's basically it for this video i hope you found it useful and i'll see you guys in the next video